Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of November 29th to December 5th, 2021. I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link down below this video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me what is the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week. All right, Taurus, first card we have for you is the Hangman in reverse, Four of Cups in reverse, the Temperance card, Ten of Swords, the Sun card, the Four of Wands in reverse, and at the bottom, the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, let me just take a look. Sorry for the rooster. Hangman in reverse temperance. I feel like you're waiting for something here with the temperance card. What are you waiting for? Just tell me about that temperance card. Oh my god, sorry for the rooster. Jeez. Loud. Clarifying the Temperance. Three of Pentacles and the Page of Cups in reverse. You want you want to work things out with someone or you're waiting for someone to put in put in some some sort of effort with you. I think you're waiting for someone to to take action towards you and to get on the same page with this person. What is the hangman about, spirit? Hangman in reverse, two of swords in reverse, and the page of swords in reverse. Oh, this is your energy, Taurus. <clears throat> you're watching someone. You're watching someone. You're... You're thinking heavily about someone here. You're reconsidering something or you're analyzing some something or someone. You're 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 very much up in your head. Tell me about the four of cups, please. Ten of Swords again. And the Knight of Wands in reverse. So somebody walked away from you or you walked away from someone. There was an ending here. Um, a relationship fell apart. A connection fell apart. You're waiting to see if things can, 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 be, can be repaired. You're waiting to see if things can be repaired between you and this person. What is the sun about, Spirit? Why is the sun card here? We have the Six of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Cups upright. Somebody walked away. It was a painful ending or painful separation here. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. That's your card, the Hierophant. Is the card of Taurus. What else? 
and the high priestess in reverse. You feel really lonely, you feel really abandoned by this person. Again, it was a painful ending. It was a painful ending or separation. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Justice card in reverse and the Five of Wands. There was too much conflict between you two or there was some sort of um, discussion, negative or heated discussion, arguments or disagreement with the Justice card. It created a, a break in the relationship. But you're watching this person, so I'm guessing this person walked away from you. I mean, could be the other way around, but I feel like it could be that this person distanced themselves away from you. Yeah, put distance, but I feel like you're watching them here with the Page of Swords in reverse. And you're waiting for this person to come back to you. I feel like you don't want to... You don't want to be enemies with this person. You want to have a relationship with them. I feel like you want things to go back to the way it used to be. Yeah. What is um, Taurus' desire with this person's spirit? Let me take a look at that. I'm not really clear. What does Taurus desire with this person? Oh, you have strong feelings for this person. Yeah, like the lover's card is here. You do feel a strong connection, spiritual connection, physical connection, physical attraction. There's a soulmate twin flame type of energy going on between you two. Um, you can't stop thinking about this person with the Four of Swords. You want to have some sort of conversation here with the Page of Wands with this person. But I feel like you're waiting here with the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're waiting to receive communication from them. Or maybe you're just waiting for for some time to pass because it's things are just too soon right now. Um, the energies are too um, unbalanced and you're waiting for for time to to heal for some of you you're just waiting for time to pass by so that um, someone can heal and and the energies can come back into balance right now it might be too soon or things might be too heated still or too overwhelming i feel like you you miss this person all right so let's take a look at um how this person feels about you okay i'm gonna take all these cards out of the way all right spirit angels and guys please show me what is the energy of the person that Taurus is connecting to in love for this week. first card we have here is the emperor in reverse the king of pentacles in reverse you might be connecting with an aries or with another earth sign taurus virgo capricorn we have the knight of cups in reverse could be cancer pisces scorpio queen of pentacles in reverse 
The lovers could be a Gemini. And the death card in reverse. At the bottom, the page of pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Well, um, this person definitely has feel. Didn't you get the lovers also? This, this. This energy here between you two is very strong connection. Let me see if you got the lovers. Yeah. You also got the lovers here. So there is a twin flame soulmate connection between you two. Um, this person feels it also. I feel like there is there are there's a mutual um there's mutual passion between you two, okay? The death card is in reverse, so I feel like this person feels like there's still unfinished business between you two. However, I'm not seeing a lot of action here in regards to this person. I feel like they're holding back their energy here with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse. They're holding themselves back here, um, especially with the Emperor in reverse. They might be feeling a little bit upset here. Page of Pentacles is in reverse. So I feel like this person is waiting for for something from you. Yeah, they're waiting for... It could be an apology that they're waiting for. Or they're waiting for some sort of sign. I don't know. Let's take a look at what, what it is that they want. Spirit, tell me about this Emperor card. Why is this Emperor here? The Fool in Reverse and the Hangman in Reverse. They're scared here. This person is scared. They don't want to look like a fool. That's why the fool is here. They don't want to look like a fool. Or they feel like they've been they've been looking like a fool already as it is and they don't want to keep looking like a fool. Mm -hmm. They're trying to decide what is the best approach here with the hangman in reverse. They're trying to they're trying to see things from a different perspective. They're trying to figure out a solution. They're trying to figure out what, what is the right course of action. I feel like this person really wants to be with you. They just don't know how to, how to manifest a relationship with you. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here, Spirit? We have the Three of Cups. So there might be a third party situation that is creating a, an obstacle. We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, Three of Cups and the Knight of Wands definitely shows um, that there's more than one person in the picture. That might be why this person is holding back. They, this person feels like you, you have somebody else or you're involved with somebody else. Tell me about the um, the lovers spirit. We have the hermit card. Page of wands in reverse. I feel like this person sees you as their wish fulfillment, Taurus. They look at you as someone who is their wish fulfillment. But the page of wands in reverse, they're, they're too scared here to communicate with you. I feel like this person wants something serious with you, but they're too scared to tell you that. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles spirit. We have the Justice card and the King of Swords in reverse. Okay, Justice. So this person is holding back because of um, their values also. Yeah, they may have some strong values or beliefs. 
with the justice card. Um, like I said, I feel like this person feels like you want something else. They want something serious, but you want something else. That might not be true, but I think that's what they're yeah, that's what they're thinking. Like you don't you don't really want something serious with them. You want something casual. Something kind of like unofficial, like friends with benefits. Again, that might not be true at all. That's just their perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the King of Swords is in reverse, which usually means that this person might have, um, they might be assuming things, okay? They might be making assumptions that have no evidence or that have no real basis. Mm -hmm. They might be making wrong assumptions towards you and, you know, they're not really thinking clearly. But I feel like this person um, is looking to have some sort of relationship with you. They just, they don't know how to manifest a relationship with you. And they feel like you're, you're focused on somebody else or on something else. They don't feel like you're giving them attention or like you're really noticing them. Or, you know, showing any interest. What is this Page of Pentacles? Let's clarify that one. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, the World card in the reverse and the High Priestess. So, again, this person's not really communicating to you that they want a second chance with you. I feel like that's what they want, a second chance. Or they want an opportunity here with to be with you. To form a relationship with you. But with the High Priestess, they might be very silent with you or very quiet. All right, Taurus, I'm going to end the reading here. If this reading resonates with you, you can follow me in the extended reading. I'm going to take a look at what are this person's um, real feelings for you? What are their real feelings for you? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? I'm also going to take a look at, um, um, I'm going to pick some cards from the Twin Flame Soulmate Oracle Decks, and we're going to take a look at what messages would this person like to say to you. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.